Hi, I'm Chris Frankel, Director of Programming for TRX. You're watching the weekly sequence, where each week I'm going to give you a deeper look at the science behind the sequence. This month the theme is mobility, and we're going to show you how to map core stability to distal mobility. Let's get started. So the science behind the sequence this week is to take that plank and then try and perturb it or try to challenge yourself doing different things. So the first thing is just coming down into a chest press, but now not thinking of it only as a shoulder or chest exercise, but really engaging that posterior pelvic tilt and keeping that plank nice and strong as you go up and down. Every time at the bottom, you want to feel like you're re-engaging that core, re-engaging that plank, and pushing up from a nice, solid, strong foundation. One more time down, re-engage and push up. Now we'll go from a push to a pull, so you'll go ahead and you'll fully shorten your TRX, you'll go standing facing the anchor point, and every time before you start each rep, you're going to make sure that alignment's turned on, ear, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, you're going to make sure you've got that posterior pelvic tilt, so you've got that core engaged, and that posterior chain is starting to light up from the shoulders all the way back down. Pull up, pull down, you still want to think about those shoulders coming down and back, but once again you're thinking of it as a moving plank. At the bottom, you re-engage the core, come up as you go back down. Once again, you re-engage that core, looking for alignment. Ears, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, getting that posterior pelvic tilt, keeping that active plank becomes an active moving plank with a pull instead of a push. Now we're going to take that same idea of maintaining that plank and same idea of keeping that posterior chain turned on, and we're going to go from a row to a squat. You want to make sure your feet are set where you want them to be. You want to feel that you're rooted into the ground. You almost want to feel like you're grabbing the ground with those toes. Reset that core and let yourself go down slow. Feel like you're pulling yourself down, almost like there's bands trying to pull you up and you're keeping that core turned on, pulling yourself down, re-engaging that core at the bottom, bring yourself up. So now it becomes a moving plank in a vertical fashion. You're not pushing, you're not pulling, you're keeping everything nice and strong. At the bottom, re-engage that core. Bring yourself up, shoulders stay down and back one more time, pull yourself down, really feel that core working all the way down, that plank's moving up and down, using those hips to drive yourself back up. And our last part of the sequence is we're really going to fire up that posterior chain. You're going to go ahead and take yourself to an overhead squat. So you're going to take those same squatting mechanics, you're going to take some of that core stability you built up with those rows, you're going to let those shoulders drive up. But even with your hands overhead, you're going to think about maintaining space between the ears and shoulders. So you re-engage that core, look for that posterior pelvic tilt, feet are rooted into the ground, and you pull yourself down. Look at that nice, tall posture, core stays engaged, re-engage at the bottom, and drive yourself up. It's not how fast you do this exercise, it's how well you stay engaged, and your mind is in this movement the entire time. At the bottom, re-engage. Feel like you're trying to drive up with about 200 pounds on your back. One more time, down nice and slow, like you're pulling yourself into that bottom position. Core stays nice and tall, re-engage. Push up like you're driving 200 pounds up over your head, and relax. So we've taken that core, we've kept it active, we've taken it through a push, we've taken it through a pull, we've taken it through a squat, and then we've brought it all together into that overhead squat, which really gets that core stability 360 degrees, emphasizing proximal stability or core stability, leading to better mobility in hips, knees, and ankles. So those four moves in this week's weekly sequence look like traditional movements of push, pull, and squat, but we really focused on the plank. You got a taste for the squat, and next week we're really going to focus on the squat, bringing what you learned about core stability and added hip mobility and lower body strength. Make sure you check us out.